Hello everybody, my name is Ace Pilot 109 also known as Captain John, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be flying my brand new prototype VTOL airplane, called the XV-151. This is the first purpose-built VTOL aircraft that I've ever built, that it was designed to be aerodynamically stable, and as you can see, it has taken some inspiration from aircraft like the Flying Pancake made by Vought, the V-173. For some strange reason, I've, just the way it looks, it's given me like 1940s German vibes. If you knew what happened around that time, then you know what I'm talking about. There were some pretty crazy experimental aircraft going on. It's pretty stylish, I gotta say. Not that the, um, the Germans were doing anything good at that time. I'm just saying the uh, airplanes looked pretty cool. Anyways, so yeah, as I mentioned, it's supposed to be aerodynamically stable in a hover due to the fact that it's got some pretty radical designs from regular aircraft. I'm pretty confident that it's gonna fly in horizontal mode and I'm pretty sure it's gonna take off vertically, but landing has always been the trouble part. So with all that intro, blah, blah, blah stuff out of the way, let's get this thing ready for flight. Believe it or not, the battery hatch is actually right here. And you might think, wow, that's really far back. That's because the center of mass on this aircraft is about right here, which is quite far back. But you have to keep in mind that this is one of these nutball style aircraft that flies way better with a tail heavy center of mass. This is the best method of attaching cameras. So you might be wondering, why would I take it off vertically in the first flight? Well, that's because I'm very confident the aircraft's gonna get off the ground. Landing, not so much. So it's really hard to throw because there's nowhere to hold it. That's the reason for the vertical takeoff. So if it crashes, at least we'll have a cool takeoff video. Three, two, one. Okay, that was a little uh, troublesome. Wow, it's tracking very well. It does seem very pitch sensitive, so I might need to adjust some expo. Here's some high alpha. Not bad, not bad. Wow, flies pretty well actually. Uh, feels like it's on rails. Differential thrust is working pretty well. Here's full throttle. So yeah, unlimited vertical, of course. That's all the good airplanes. Here we go, here's a nice pass. Okay, let's try uh, inverted. Yep, that's no problem, does that just fine. Which makes sense as the aircraft is pretty symmetrical. All right, motor's off, full up elevator. Look at that, it won't even drop a wing. Or, it doesn't have a wing to drop. That's crazy, it just, it just falls, it floats to the ground. This thing's really cool. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, attempt a landing here. I'm gonna see if I can get it into high alpha and then set it down as nicely as possible, not really attempting a vertical landing. I do not have landing legs on here yet, so there's really nothing to land on anyways. Wow. All right, so good landing, nothing was damaged. So you can see the elevator has a lot of movement and then the ailerons are pretty limited. So I changed the dual rates and now it should be a lot more easy to fly and a little less squirrely. Now something that you might be wondering is how does this thing even fly? Like what controls does it use? And well, let me explain. So basically for up and down, you got normal pitch. They both go up and down. For roll, they roll independently. So you can get roll. And not only that, but I've got differential thrust up here that allow me to steer the plane as if it had a rudder. So just because I'm gonna go ahead and throw in a new pack, I'm not sure how long this second flight's gonna be. So yeah, we're gonna throw in a fresh battery. Here we go. This time I'm gonna really punch full throttle to try and avoid that sketchy takeoff. Well, that was better. A little bit of rockage, that's all right. Yeah, it's doing high alpha pretty well. There we go, look at that. Ooh, don't look at that. This is an insane airplane. This is so cool. That is what we're looking for, look at that. We are not perfectly vertical, we are still moving forwards. Look at that, wow. So I'm gonna go ahead and try, attempt the landing here. All right, not the best, but that will do. Well, everybody, that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I hope to see all of you in the next video. There will definitely be more parts to this series where I continue to develop my own aerodynamically stable VTOL. So I hope to see all of you in the next video. Thank you very much.